Hello, this is the Solo Negocios video blog, and we're going to talk about the summary of events in the in terms of the economic and legal stances in Mexico. Um, on Monday, it was uh, announced that the medical sector had an inflation for 17% worrying the insurance sector. The association, the Mexican Association for, for Insurance Companies exposed that this is five times what it was back in 2015. And obviously inflation is not only uh, affecting um, the, 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 the population in general, but specifically uh, supply chains. And in this case, the financial one. In second place, uh, inflation for the first uh, 15 days of, of the month of January was announced by INEGI. This with an increase of 0.39% uh, on, on, on the 15 days basis and yearly 7.13%. Uh, related to this, a year ago was 3.33% this inflation rate for the first 15 days of the year. In the part that is uh, uh, not volatile with merchandises and goods, it increased 6.11% yearly. And in the part that is volatile products like agricultural products, food and, and energy, uh, it increased 10.21%. So what happened and what is going on regarding the last 10 years, for example? Well, inflation increased at a mean rate among the highest rate back in 2017. So it's not the worst 15 days, first 15 days of a January in the last 10 years, uh, neither in the non-volatile as well as the volatile part of the inflation, but it, it keeps pressing, you know? The trend for general inflation is downwards, but just for the last uh, 15 days, we will see in, in February 9th, the inflation rate for the whole month of January. The, vola the volatile products are decreasing importantly, but the non-volatile products keep going up. Even when it's not the worst scenario for the last 10 years, it, it, the, these type of products are, are keeping their, their path towards incremental prices. So that's worrisome. Which are the products that increase the most? Lemons, 36%. And Potatoes, 11.62%. The decreasing ones, uh, aero transportation, 33%, and touristical services in packages, 12%. Green tomatoes, 11%, all of these downwards. And the cities with the most uh, inflations, Pachuca at Hidalgo, 0.89%, Coatzacoalcos at Veracruz, 0.73%, and Tehuantepec at Oaxaca, 0.78%. 0.70%. The ones with the lowest inflation rates was were Cancun at Quintana Roo, 0.07%, Cordoba at Veracruz, 0.15%, and Merida at Yucatan, 0.16%. For the matter of our city, in Juarez, we, ha, we were in fifth, fifth uh, place in the least inflationary cities with 0.18%. We also had the uh, information on the most um, in a perspective of sectors in the economy, which were the most, uh, that increased the most in the advanced economic activity indicator for December 2022, 2021. This was announced last week and we talked about it. And it talked specifically for December. So what is expected to occur in December that the film industry will have the highest increase rate, the, agricultural services will have the second highest in, uh, rate of growth and the manufacturing of clothing will have the third one or the third place. So that's with the advanced figure for December. But what, what about the actual uh, figure for November? We'll talk about it in a few moments. Well, in construction services, we had an increase in production for 0.1% but the graph shows a steady growth, a very, very uh, low rate of growth for this uh, subsector. In terms of personnel, it increased well with 0.6%, but hours work decreased 0.5% uh, 
in the month of November and uh, average increase, uh, wages 0.3%. In terms of debts in Mexico in the period of January to June 2021, the main cause of death was COVID-19 with 145,159 cases. In second place was heart problems with 113, 899 cases, 113,000, excuse me. And well, the difference because be, between regular rates of deaths and the deaths in the latest uh, 18 months calculated from January, 2020, to June 2021, well, the previous sec, um, era of comparison is the year 2015 towards 2019. So in 2015 towards 2019 per year, there was a total of 1,116,482 deaths. In this period between January and June 2021, there were 1,600,000 uh, 49,031 deaths. That is 532,549 more deaths, which obviously are highly related towards COVID-19. Now, we just talked about the advanced disaggregated by sectors economic activity indicator for December, but what about the one on November? It was announced uh, last Tuesday, and for November 2021, the IGAE, the Global Economic Activity Indicator, increased 0.3% at a monthly rate, improving from October, but it keeps going down. It keeps showing a very low uh, recovery. In yearly terms, it increased also 0.3% by subsectors, primary activities, 7.2%, secondary activities, decrease 0.1%, tertiary activities increase 0.5% in the month. Uh, so Mexico is showing a very bad fourth quarter. In the US, the Bureau of Labor Statistics has posed the state employment and employment summary, where unemployment rates were lower in December in 42 states and the District of Columbia and stable in eight states. 48 states and the district had jobless rates decreases from a year earlier and two states were little changed. The national unemployment rate was 3.9% declined by 0.3 percentage points over the month and was 2.8% lower than December, 2020. In terms of commercial or um, yeah, commercial companies, uh, the, the wholesalers had a better stance rather than the uh, the, the small companies, the small trade companies. Um, in, in terms of income, wholesalers yearly basis in November 2021, 10.7% increase, personal 3% and uh, income, average income for people decreased 2.1%. Worrisome, but not necessarily that decreased the, 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 the wages, simply the average trend considering or adjusted by personal is the one that decreased. And in small companies, 4.2% of income increase, personal decreased 0.5% and uh, average wages 2.8% for personal. In sector, in service sector, this one is uh, hardly heated. In terms of income increase 0.8%, but yearly 2.8% increase. Personal decreased 0.5% in the month of November, but decreased 15.7% against 2020, which was supposedly the worst year, you know. But here, restaurants, nightclubs, entertainment centers were here the hardest. Um, in expenses, 1.6% increases, doubled than income, and obviously related to inflationary uh, trends, 5.1% yearly. And in terms of income, no change between months, November and October, and 21.4% decrease yearly. Amazing decrease. There's a new indicator. Well, it's uh, a common indicator, but it's yearly. Uh, by Inegi in 2021, 39.6% uh, of population, uh, adult population, 
declared that had physical activity like sports and exercise. 73.9% of population making sports said that they were doing it for health. Um, also by sex, 46.7% of men are doing exercise and only 33% of women. And this could be related to the inequality between men and women availability for these type of activities and work also. The Bureau of Statistics uh, of Labor Statistics is showing that the US business employment dynamics summary from March, 2021 to June, 2021, job, uh, gross job gains from opening and expanding private sector establishments were 8.1 million with a decrease of 13,000 jobs from the previous quarter. This is not a great loss. The good trend of John of, of, of uh, solid job gains is, is keep occurring, but in the end, it's showing that it's not that strong as expected or needed. The Energy Information Agency exposed on Wednesday that crude oil inventories without strategic reserves increased 2.4 million barrels from previous week and at 416 million barrels, it's 8% below five average, uh, five year average uh, of this time of the year, which means there are scarcity of this type of uh, uh, supplies, oil, and therefore pressures for prices. In particular, national average retail regular gasoline price increased three, to 3.32 cents per do, uh, dollars per gallon with an increase of one cent. And in terms of diesel, 3.78 dollars is costing the gallon with an increase of six cents. Federal Reserve uh, through, the, uh, through the committee, through the Federal Reserve, uh, Federal Open Market Committee decided to not uh, move its uh, target range for, for federal funds rate from zero, and so it's staying it from zero to 0.25% 0 range. But they are saying expressly that the committee expects it will soon be appropriate to raise the target range for their federal funds rate, given inflation, obviously, given the change in, in mood that is not a transitory problem, but a real problem. So we expect that in March, there will be an increase. In terms of the balance, the trade balance of Mexico in merchandises, we had a deficit of $11.4 billion for the year 2021, which recovers from the erratic latest uh, results from superavits. Yes, under the Trump notion, notion uh, a superavit is good and a deficit is bad, but not necessarily. Remember, yeah, if you export more than what you import, you get a superavit. But the problem with it is that maybe you are importing less because your people is not consuming more. So it might have a double um, uh, sided problem. Imports increased 27% in the year 2021, which improved consumption in Mexico. Obviously, that was a good part. And the exports trended good with a good increase to $47 billion in the year. Um, the Maquiladora program showing uh, not a great improvement and actually in terms of labor, it decreased in the month of November. In terms of uh, income, it increased for people. And in terms of hours work, decreased in the, in the month of November. Anyways, uh, number of companies, well, it's, it's, it, this, the job generated, jo jobs generated by the Maquiladora in Mexico accounts for 15% of the formal jobs. So it's, it's amazing, 3.1 million. Uh, inhabitants have a job in the maquiladora in Mexico. Baja California has the greatest number of maquiladoras, no, Nuevo León in second place, and Chihuahua in third place. And in terms of labor, Chihuahua is at first place, Baja California second place, and Nuevo León in third place. Also on Thursday, uh, the Department of Labor showed the unemployment insurance weekly claims with initial claims with a decrease of 30,000 from the previous two of uh, even 50, 55,000 uh, increase last week. 
So it improved. It was not expected, but it improved. So the four week moving average is 247,000 with an increase of 15,000. And in terms of the whole people with active claims and receiving uh, funds from this insurance system, the four week moving average is 1,651,750 people receiving this support, but with a decrease of 10,750 people. So this means that there was a bump, yeah, through uh, the last uh, three weeks, two weeks, but it was a bump given the, the COVID-19 pandemic. But the trend keeps going well, decreasing uh, at a lower rate, but decreasing the need of this type of support. Today, uh, INEGI announced for Mexico the state economic activity indicator for quarters. And for the third quarter in 2021, Chihuahua had 1.4% increase and 6.2% yearly. There, there was a, I don't know, 50% of the states of Mexico in negative terms and 50% in positive terms. The worst ones, Nayarit with 14.6% negative, Guerrero with 10% negative, Colima with 9.7% negative. The best ones, maybe uh, Quintana Roo with, with 7.5%, Tabasco 4.4%, and uh, Tlaxcala with 3.3% increase in the quarter. Also, we have the global indicator for personal and income for that personal in the different subsectors of the economy. And well, here we have uh, for the personal, uh, no movement in the month of November against October, but yearly 1.2% increase. In uh, general income for the people, decreased 0.3% in the month of November, decreased 1.2% yearly and is worrisome. And the average income, decreased 0.2% in the month of November, 2.3% downwards in the yearly basis. Today, the Bureau of Economic Analysis of the Department of Commerce of the US declared that the personal income increased 0.3% in the month of November, respective to November, and expenditures decreased 0.6% regarding November. So weirdly, in December, a negative figure for expenditures. And GDP, for the fourth quarter and the full year 2021, GDP increased at an annual rate for the quarter of 6.9%, which implies that the quarter increased like 1.8%, and uh, the third quarter increased 2.3%. So it was an improvement, a very strong improvement from a very bad third quarter in, in growth terms. The, the yearly perspective was for 5.6%, and well, it is expected to be a good year for the United States after the erratic pandemic year. And finally, the employment cost index summary from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, compensation costs for civilian workers increased 1%, seasonally adjusted for three months period ending December, 2021, where salaries and wages increased 1.1% and benefit costs increased 0.9%, putting some pressure to uh, productive inflation. Events that we had in the week, IMEF, the Mexican Executives Financial Institute, uh, had the Social Security Committee with Social Security and expenses for companies. We analyzed that on Tuesday. We had also economic, social, and legal perspectives from ANADE, uh, which was a very uh, important event, setting the agenda for ANADE and the work for its committees during these years. Then IMEF had the event CEO's Vision 2021, 2022 for Mexico, with three important CEOs from different companies in our country. Uh, there, then also we had uh, an event from the judicial reform in the country, exposed by the former president of the state uh, judicial uh, uh, tribunal in the state of Chihuahua. We had also an event from Energisa, a private company, exposing how to measure the electric receipt, uh, the, you know, given the electric reform that is willing to be done by the federal government, we should be putting more attention to our electric bill. And another finally exposed the, a book for the labor system, the new 
labor justice system in Mexico. Important for lawyers to understand how it's going to be now the labor um, conflicts at courts, at judicial courts, instead of the executive branch courts that we have now. Well, remember that we offer the services for tax reform 2022 uh, advising. So if you're willing to get information on that, please contact us. And let me tell you about what we had in the last week uh, for Solo Negocio Radio. On uh, Monday, CONAFI with Guillermo Soria exposed recommendations for businesses in this year. On Tuesday, Emmanuel Garcia and Luis Enrique Gutierrez exposed about um, economic topics on Mexico. On Wednesday, I interviewed a lawyer uh, about uh, security and health at work. Uh, I talk, uh, on Wednesday, on Thursday, uh, Jutec and Adriana Parada interviewed um, an expert on methodologies for failing searches on productive processes. And finally, today, uh, on Friday, I talked about monetary policy in the US and general economic forecasts. Remember also, we're offering the services for advising on the, the specialized um, registry uh, or specialized services offered by companies and for construction, uh, which requires a special service uh, registry in Mexico, as well as its reports towards uh, the um, company's clients, uh, the social security and the housing agency of Mexico. The following week, ANADE will have under its uh, social security committee, an analysis of our pensions for 2022. Remember this year, there is people already getting retired using the Afore system. So we will find out what is going on there in the legal, legal perspective. IMEF will have the strategic uh, direction committee with growth strategies for 2022. And finally, uh, IMEF through its uh, financial information committee will have the opportunities and uh, objectives for the financial intermediation in Mexico in this year. Well, this is it for this week. Let's uh, uh, keep up with the information during the week with Solo Negocios Radio and also next week here in the Solo Negocios Video Blog. Thank you very much for your attention.